All right. So then on to my next question, when it comes down to the financing, I know that you guys said you get really personal with the couple about their finances, but what are the conversations that need to be had? Because for example, I'm my own business owner. I run my own business. And so I'm considered self-employed or I don't have a real job or whatever, however you want to describe that. What needs to happen in order for me to qualify for a loan so that I am considered to get the best rates or whatever for buying a home? And let's say that my husband has a real job and I have a self-employed job. I could talk about this all day. A couple of things to consider right off the bat when it comes to financing your property. The really easy rule of thumb is whatever your annual income is. No lender is going to lend you or let you pay more per month than one third of your income roughly. So just as a quick rule of thumb, you're making $300,000 a year, no more than, you know, th that percentage can go towards your house payment. Okay. So that would be a hundred thousand dollars could go towards my house payment. Correct. I ties over a 30 year loan, or is that a hundred thousand dollars per year can go towards my house? No. So that's going to, yes. So one third of your income. And so you're, if you break it down into your monthly, one third of your monthly income cannot exceed your house payment. So that's a really easy rule of thumb. And so that gives you kind of an idea of the the price range of homes you could be looking at. No, people always get scared about talking to a lender because they say, oh, I don't want my credit to go down and I don't want to feel the pressure, but I just want to go look and then when I'm ready, I'll pull the trigger on it. A couple of things. If you are self-employed, the documents that are needed for a lender to work with you are going to be more intense and are going to need more documentation and it's going to take longer to gather those documents. If your other, if your spouse has a job that they've been in for more than two years and you've got all the bank statements in your, you know, W-2s and everything in order, they're going to need all of those. And that's going to help determine the price of home that you guys will be looking at. Once your credit is pulled with a lender and you're shopping for a mortgage, you've got roughly 90 to 120 days to go ahead and pull that credit with as many throws as you want based on your home without it damaging your credit. Normal people will do it only two or three times so they can check rates with a couple of lenders. Now, when it comes to lending, this is where working with a bank versus working with a local lender that specializes in lending becomes really important. If you work with an organization that specializes in just lending, they have a lot more lending options available for you or lending programs. They can usually get you better rates. They shop nationally and they add your lifestyle and your portfolio instead of just your FICO score. If you go through a regular bank, the bank has a lending arm. Someone is assigned to your file. They'll pull your FICO score and they'll run it to an automated program and it'll say you qualify for X. And they don't really take into consideration anything else going on in your life. And so I would highly recommend working with an organization or company that specializes just in lending because they're going to be able to get you a better deal. And then they'll be able to look at your lifestyle and your portfolio and help you get something that's based on the monthly payment you want to pay for versus what you qualify for. 